What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, this is a free general oracle reading for the sign of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Dove, and Hangar of your charts. Um, it's an oracle reading, so and it's a general, free general one for the sign of Leo. So it's very important to only take the messages um, that resonate and leave the rest. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Um, love you guys so much. We're five subscribers away from 11,700 subscribers. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, Chakra, for all the love and support to the channel. I'm so incredibly serious about that. I truly appreciate it. I really, really, really do. I just want to let everybody know. Um, I really do. So um, I wanted to say that. This, Like I said, this resonates if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts, but it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest um, as well. Okay, so I got one channel message in as I was uh, meditating on your energy. Um, it's very interesting. Um, I heard, well, two things. Okay. I heard 1.2 mil. That is all I heard. That's all I heard. 1.2 mil. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever that is, Leo, that is for. 1.2 mil is 1.2 million for anybody that doesn't know that. So that's all I heard. So I wonder if one of you guys' net worth is 1.2 million or you're about to get a settlement that's worth 1.2 million or you have, are about to get an inheritance that is worth 1.2 million. Something is regarding 1.2 mil. Um, whatever that is, it might be an investment. However, that resonates for you. 1.2 mil. If that is significant for, uh, it's significant at least for one of you guys. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate for you, it could be somebody you're connected to possibly. But 1.2 mil, that is all I heard. And that is so so specific. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have signed a Leo. Your message you have, son Leo. Through a mini shocking series of chain of events, a Leo is about to have so much freedom and flexibility financially. So much. It is going to be wonderful. Okay, Leo. We're all about oh geez in here, apparently. So if this resonates for you, Leo, I heard um through a mini shocking series of chain of events. Uh, at least one of you guys is going to have so much freedom and flexibility financially. So I'm feeling at least one of you guys might receive 1.2 mil soon. It might, for some of you guys, it might be a lottery winning, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I didn't hear the lottery. That's just what I'm thinking, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. Okay. So we have... Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Fox spirit, let spirit be your guide. Winter, balance, bird perch, waiting for news, package letter, tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Number 8 or 32 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 8 or 32. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Um, a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible day of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible social security card number. Possible jersey number. 8 or 32. Um, also, you can be dealing with another fire sign or a air sign because we have um, Bobcat Spirit and Hawk Spirit. Bobcat Spirit is fire sign energy. Hawk Spirit is air sign energy. So you could be dealing with another Aries Leo Sag possibly or Gemini Libra Aquarius. If you are, they could have Aries Leo Sag or Gemini Libra Aquarius and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Energy Group charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery. For one particular Leo, there has been many secrets held from them, but they're highly intuitive and they know, they know 
a lot of them intuitively. A lot of these secrets are about to be revealed in the 3D realm very soon. It's going to benefit this Leo in huge, huge, huge ways. Oh my goodness, Leo, this is starting off freaking fantastic, man. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to say real quick um, before you keep going. I'm sorry. Um, this is for April of 2022. However, you know, a lot of my readings and messages, intuitive messages, spiritual realm messages have been foresight into the universe. So they, they're like, they're psychic intuitive messages. So they're what's to come in the universe, basically. Um, so saying that we have 11 days left in March right now, currently, um, right today. So everybody, there's tons, millions of billions of people in the world and tons of Leos. So if one message or two plus or all of them or none of them resonate with you, some of them, if they do, it could resonate March is what I'm saying. Some of them could resonate March. Some could resonate April. Some could resonate past. But I just, because everybody's on a different time when life pass, I just wanted to make that very abundantly clear. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So I heard um, whoever you are, you're highly freaking intuitive, Leo. I mean, like highly freaking intuitive man. Intuition on fleet, whoever you are, um, which is an awesome skill to acquire. That's for sure. Um but I heard basically a lot of huge secrets, um, major, major, major secrets. Okay, I heard major, major, major secrets. So huge, big daddy secrets, basically. Have been help for you? Yeah. Shh, dad in. I'm on the video. Yes, big daddy secrets. Um, sorry, <sighs> my kid. Um, I heard it has been held from you. Um, but it sounds like for strategic reasons. Um, but I heard they're about to be revealed to you soon, but they're, it's going to benefit you in a huge way once they're revealed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It sounds like somebody was trying to hold them back for you for strategic man manipulative purposes for their game. But it sounds like the universe is about to force it to where, and it's about to shift it positively into your favor. Um, so life is a mystery in this situation is, um, mystery of the secrets. Um, I heard for a lot of you guys, you already know them inside yourself. Um, you already know them, but nobody has told you in the 3d about them. So you haven't had verbal confirmation in 3d plane, but you're about to either one person's about to tell you or two plus how that resonates in your life. But that's good for you on many levels, depending on what the secret or secrets are and how you handle them. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. For some, these secrets are so huge, they're going to result in lawsuit for one, lawsuits for another. Oh my gosh. I heard for some of you guys, the secrets are so huge. They're going to result in a lawsuit for one of you guys and lawsuits for another for you guys. So two plus lawsuits for one, one lawsuit. That's a lot of lawsuits. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Woo! Hulk spirit, let spirit be your guide. A particular Leo is about to expand, through many shocking series of chain of events, is about to expand their spiritual practice and spiritual business in a wonderful, positive way. Wow, this is beautiful, Leo. Holy crap, I'm only man. This is looking so good. I heard through many shocking series of chain events, um, a Leo is about to expand their spiritual practice and spiritual business in a positive, beautiful way. So you have let spirit be your guide. You are a light side spiritual practitioner is what I'm feeling. Um, I'm serious, you're a light side spiritual practitioner. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you de you're definitely spiritual. Now, for some, you could be religious and spiritual because, you know, you can be religious and spiritual or you can just be spiritual. Like, I'm just spiritual. But there are people that are religious and spiritual. And I, don't, I don't judge. It's not my place to judge. Um, not at all. Um, but whoever you are, you're definitely spiritual. Whether you're religious or you're not, you are definitely spiritual. Are there many shocking series of chain events? And in this case, it is a positive tower moment here. Positive tower moment. Um, you're going to be able to, you're going to, going to expand your spiritual business and spiritual practice in a very positive way. So 
expansion of your business and your spirituality, which is double deuces, the bomb.com here. I'm serious. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's, that's the bomb right there. Whoever you are, I feel you um, are highly connected to the spiritual realm. And I am so serious. I feel for some, you get uh, clairaudient messages, clairvoyant messages, dreamscape messages. Maybe for some, you're Reiki masters or do or learning about Reiki healing um, or, or educating yourself on that or wanting to educate yourself on that. For some, you could be shaman. Um, I'm serious. I mean, you are into this stuff. And whoever you are, you're very high vibrational. I mean, you might not have always been high vibrational, but you definitely are now. And I mean, I can feel the energy. You are high vibrational, whoever this is. You are vibing high, man. And, and really, that's beautiful. That is beautiful energy. Which I'm serious. Once this occurs, your creative juices are about to explode in a very positive way. Okay, I heard once this occurs, your creative juices are going to expand in a very positive way. So, you're going to get happy. Somehow, many positive, shocking series of chain events, positive power moments here, are going to occur to where you're going to be able to expand your business. You already have a spiritual business in some shape, form, or fashion. Whether you're a reader, whether you sell sage, whether you uh, do crystals, whether you do candles, whether you do one or all those things, whether you do Reiki healing um what you do i don't know everybody's different um but whatever you do you're going to be able to expand it i think financially because we had financial all up in here at the beginning now we've got a spiritualist um i'm serious so that's beautiful and i heard it's gonna make you very happy so happy that you're basically your creative juices are going to explode in a positive way so you're going to get I feel you're going to get financial backing to expand your business is what I feel. For some, you might take out loans. For some, you might not have to take out loans and you received some kind of money or payout or settlement or inheritance or will or winning or lottery winning or something to where you're able to expand it. And it's going to make you so happy. It explodes the creative juices and it benefits society and your community your spiritual community your business maybe your 3d playing community i mean that's really beautiful winter many had a very evil plan in the winter time to take you down you need to know this However, now it is severely backfiring on them and it is going to continue to backfire on them. You are enemy number one. Oh my God, Leo. Whoa. You were enemy number one, dude. Holy crap. I heard enemy number one. Shit, you were on somebody's top freaking list. Um, damn, whoever you are, and I'm serious, I just don't know what else to say about that. You were enemy number one, man. So, whoever you are, you are, you are a bad, bad dude or a bad bitch, and I'm serious. They don't want you to know you're a bad dude or a bad bitch, whoever you are, but you, if you were some on somebody's enemy number one list, you are a bad dude or a bad bitch, and I'm just being serious. Now, you don't have to act like a bad dude or a bad bitch, and you don't have to go around being low vibrational all over the community and the world. Whoever you are, I don't feel you are. I don't feel you are low vibrational, actually. I feel you're high, very high vibrational. But they know you're... The reason I say you're a bad dude or a bad bitch is because you have gotten your worked on yourself so heavy that you have become so high vibrational that these people know they can't touch you. Basically, it kind of reminds me of like MC Hammer can't touch this. No, 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 can't touch this. That's what I'm feeling. They know that. These, these people had a plan since winter time to take your ass down. We were in March 20th of 2022. Months ago, they were plotting and scheming and planning to take your ass down. 
But I heard it severely backfired on them, and it's going to continue to backfire in the universe on them. So I feel you're very high in the spiritual realm, and universal negative karma has, some has already come for these assholes, some it's coming. I just heard winter is coming. Dad, oh my God, I just heard winter is coming. Winter is coming for these karmics, basically. For some, winter has already come. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what the term winter is coming is, okay. If anybody is familiar with the uh, series Game of Thrones, it's one of my favorite series ever for me personally. But it's called Game of Thrones. Um, Google it if you're not familiar. But that is one of the terms, very popular slogans in there. Winter is coming, meaning it's coming and it's coming hard. It's coming big and coming hard and it's coming harsh. What it, I mean, not literally winter, but whatever. In this case, it's karma. Karma is coming. Like winter is coming is what I'm trying to say. I heard winter is coming. It's negative karma coming for these people is what I'm feeling. Their winter is negative karma coming upon their ass like the cold of winter. And I'm serious. I just don't know what to say about that. I am serious as hell. Like, and I feel some of these people might be Game of Thrones. They might know Game of Thrones. Why did? Because oh, well, I heard Game Winter is fuck coming for a reason. So maybe some of these people enjoy Game of Thrones, or maybe you enjoy Game of Thrones, or something of that nature. There's a reason I heard Winter is coming. I'm serious. Um, I think they like to use people like chess, chess pieces, like in Game of Thrones. I'm serious. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call, huge. I just heard judge. A judge. A judge is getting a huge wake-up call. A judge is getting a huge wake-up call. Or you, maybe you're a Leo judge. Uh, maybe. Or connected to a Leo. You're a judge connected to a Leo or you're a Leo judge. Her judge. I think a judge is getting a huge wake-up call. Or maybe a judge likes Game of Thrones. I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates, but somehow a judge is getting a huge wake-up call. You plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa, man. But regardless of all that, somebody like wanted to play your ass like a chess piece, like in the Game of Thrones. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, please Google Game of Thrones. Winter is coming is one of the most famous catchphrases in there. Um, I'm serious. Um, I'm serious. And it is for a reason. I need to buy that series. I love that series. But it is very adult and it's very real. And that's just the truth. So if you ain't into that kind of stuff, I wouldn't suggest buying the series. Um, but I would suggest looking up the term winner is coming for Game of Thrones if you have no clue what I'm talking about. Just saying. Balance. Balance is coming too. Many karmics are about to get so overwhelmed so soon, so quickly. Some have already been. Okay, I heard balance is coming too. Many karmics are getting so overwhelmed so soon. Uh, I mean, so overwhelmed so quickly. Some have already been. So, so kar some karmics have already experienced the winter is coming energy. I feel I relate the winter is coming energy to their ass. Is it, they just ordered their ass a big ass um, dose of karma, universal karma, and it's some is already come for their ass, some is coming. Like winter is coming. I'm serious. Um, yeah, I I mean I am serious, but our balance is coming too, and basically, um, it's about to balance out the scales. For some, you could be dealing with the Libra because this is um, Libra energy in this deck, possibly. Or have Libra in your chart, in some aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Midheaven, Jupiter, possibly. Um, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. So balance is coming too. Um, if that resonates for you. I just heard Libra. I just heard Libra just now. I think it like justice scales. But balance is really Sagittarius energy. Balance is really Sag energy. But I heard Libra. So I think for some, you either have Libra highly aspected in your charts or 
you're about to get true justice scales energy coupled with the balance. Balance, Sag, balance energy, and justice Libra um, energy is the best energy, period, in my opinion. I don't care what aspects you have in your charts, what your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts sign up, signs are. It really is. The justice scales energy coupled with the Sag balance scales energy is the best. It really is. Um, so I feel that might be what this is. Coupled with the winter is coming for your karmics because some Leo has a ton of ass karmics after their ass and have been after their ass since winter, since winter time with this big ass scheming and plotting and um, playing. But now it's backfired and I heard it's going to continue to backfire. But it's because they were putting negative into the universe with all this setup plan and um, energy and um, scheming and shysty energy. I mean, when you ha when you have set those kind of intentions into the universe, it's a intention. It's going to eventually backfire on you, and that's just the truth. I don't care who you are, what background, what background you are, how much money you make, how much you have in a bank account. It is going to eventually back backfire. And I'm serious about that. Bird perch waiting for news package letter. A very significant letter is about to come to a Leo very soon. A very significant package is about to come to a Leo soon. A very significant text message is about to come to a Leo soon. A very significant mailer is about to come to a Leo soon. You plug it in how it resonates. Mailer? What is a mailer? Mailer. Mailer. I think, I think of a mailer like, and I could be wrong, but... I think of a mailer like this, like a mailing that you stick in the mail, a mail, a mailer, unless I'm wrong. M-A-I-L-E-R is how I'm picturing this, mailer. So a significant mailer, I'm assuming, assuming it's something like this, but you plug it in how it resonates. Something, you know, the postmaster sticks in your mailbox is what I'm assuming. Some kind of significant mailer, some kind of significant letter. Some significant text message, some a significant package. Now, one could resonate with um, one of you. Two plus could resonate with one of you. None could resonate with one of you. You plug it in however that resonates. Everybody's on different time and life paths. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates. But um, for some, you are expecting this. For some, you are not. For some, you are expecting this. For some, you are not. So some, you are expecting the mailer, the text, the package, or the um, letter. For some, you're not. So you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. A particular Leo, after many shocking series of shame events, or is about to be invited out a lot soon. A lot, a lot, a lot. Use your best discernment. Okay, I heard through many shocking series of chain events, a Leo, particular Leo, this could be you or a Leo connected to you, is about to be invited out. I heard a lot, a lot, a lot. Use your best discernment and logic. On the flip side, another Leo, very low, low vibrational Leo, that has been invited out a lot in the recent years, is about to suddenly get no invitations. They are going to be pissed. Oh my God. Okay, so whoever this is for, there's two spectrums here. One of you guys, it sounds like you haven't been invited out or you've been invited out minimally. Oh, that resonates. And you're about to get invited out a ton. So it's about to shift for you in a huge different way. But I heard spiritual download on that is basically use your best discernment and logic. Whoever you are, I feel you're high vibrational and you're up here, here. And I feel your karmics are about to experience some huge karma, man, in the spiritual realm. And I'm just being serious. And I feel a lot of your karmics are the ones that didn't invite your ass out or spread verbal manipulation into the community to get people not to invite you out. 
And I'm serious about that. Um, to leave you isolated, feeling alone, probably wanted to get you depressed. I'm serious. Um, but on the flip side, I heard a very low, low vibrational Leo. It could be a masculine or feminine low vibrational Leo. It sounds like in the recent past and years has been invited out a ton, basically. They've been invited out a ton, but I heard basically through many shocking series of chain bids, they're about to get invited out none um, or minimally, and they're going to be pissed. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever that other Leo is, the second category Leo, the low vibrational Leo, um, it sounds like um, they're like an attention seeker. They're like an attention seeker and they like they drain, like not drain, they feed all people's energy, like an energy succubus energy, the second category, not you high vibrational Leo that has not been invited out much by people. Uh, kind of like social out outcast energy. And I'm serious. Um, but the one that has been uh, invited out a ton, basically, I feel very heavy attention seeking. Um, energy here, um, and energy succubus energy, and energy vampire energy. Um, they have, they don't, they feed off other people's energy. So that's why they love to always be around people because it energizes them, it brings them up, and it brings other people down. Kind of like sex demon energy. And I hate to say that, but I'm serious, except this is not sexual, but I'm just saying. One particular low vibrational Leo is about to get into a lawsuit over an affair with a coworker. It is about to piss them off in a huge, huge, huge way, and they will not win. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my dear God. Oh, I heard, uh, Whoever this is, it's a Leo that is it sounds like currently in an affair with a co-worker or was in the recent past. Um, but they were in an either was in an affair in an affair with a co-worker or they currently are still, however that resonates. Whoever this person is and how they apply in your life, hopefully it is not you. But I heard they're very low vibrational. And it might be the same one that's about not getting invited out all over town where once they were, possibly. Um, but I heard they're about to get into a lawsuit. Um, with, um, because of the affair with their coworker, um, and I heard they will not win. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, they had too much fun. Apparently they had too much fun. Holy freaking A. Oh, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular sex video is about to become very, very, very significant. And the co and the Leo that was in an affair in an affair with her coworker, a sex video is very significant in that as well. And that will be used in the court of law. It's going to mortify this Leo. Oh, oh my God. I just can't with this reading man. Holy crap, this is a long one. Okay, so a particular sex video is about to come very significant in a Leo's life. So it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of sex video energy. If it's not you, it could be a Leo you're connected to. And the this co-worker, this Leo that got into this affair with this co-worker, whether they're currently in the affair with them or was, um, there was a sex video of them too, uh, possibly with the co-worker um, in the sex video is what I'm presuming. And I heard it's going to be used in the court of law. And it's going to embarrass the hell out of them. And I heard they will not win that lawsuit. So I'm thinking the Leo that got into the affair with their coworker at work, I think they're married. I think they're married. And I'm serious. It's a heart attack. I think they are married. And the spouse found out about the um, sex video. And they probably, and they found out about the affair. And they are about to clean this Leo out in the freaking poor law. And I am serious as a heart attack about that. I am so serious. This is so strong. Another fire sign is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. I heard another fire sign is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. And a water sign. And a water sign. Okay, I heard a fire sign and a water sign is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. So 
Aries, Leo, Sag, and um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you're getting a huge ass wake up call. I'm serious, man. This is going to this is going to turn into a huge, huge, huge thing. Huge. Many, 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 many people are about to find out about this quickly. Oh my God. I heard this is about to turn into a huge, huge, huge thing. And basically a ton of people are about to find out about this quickly. This Leo got into a freaking work affair with, I think, whoever they got into an affair with is married, man. And so bad they made a sex they made a sex video now whether they willingly made the sex video or not i don't know but a sex video was made between them and the co-worker i'm feeling so much so it is about to create a lawsuit the leo's not going to win i think the wife or the husband is about to sue the hell out of this leo um that's i think or the company might or the company either the spouse or the company might and i'm serious i didn't hear who was going to sue uh, but i heard the leo's not going to win um, but there's two parties in this co-working dynamic. Um, so why the other part? I don't know what's going on with the other party. It makes me wonder why the other party's not included in these spiritual downloads. And I'm serious about that. It takes two to tango, man. And I'm serious. So I ask why I think the spouse of this person is about to sue the hell out of this Leo. And I'm serious. I am so serious. This Leo is in a relationship and their partner is about to break up with them in a huge way. This Leo is in a relationship, current relationship, current relationship. This Leo is in a current relationship and their partner is about to break up with them in a huge way. This has turned into something, man. We went so high vibrational at the beginning. Money, 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 money. Good stuff to this. So you plug it in how it resonates. But, you know, honestly, I think that's some of the balance energy here. Um, I, th th these people had way too much damn fun at work and I am so serious, way too much damn fun. So much so there's about, it's about to be a lawsuit. This Leo is about not to win. And I don't know if the company's going to take them for a lawsuit or a spouse is or both, but a sex video was involved. I think between the two coworkers, it's about to get all around town or the city or the province they live in. It is about to be a huge thing. So much so it's giving another fire sign and another water sign. Huge ass wake up calls. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sag. Huge wake up calls. I'm serious, man. This is huge. This is huge. So you plug it in. How it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular sailor is about to become very significant to a particular Leo soon. A particular sailor is about to become very significant to a particular Leo soon. A sailor. So a sailor, a person in the Navy is um, what I'm presuming here. A sailor, that's a person in the Navy. So you plug it in how it resonates, some kind of navy man or navy woman energy uh significant to a leo in some shape or fashion whoever the sailor is to you leo if this resonate particular message resonates for you it might be your family member it might be a spouse it might be a, a a friend some kind of sailor energy um that could be a masculine or feminine sailor um we live in 2022 women's rights just saying so you plug it in how it resonates um how that resonates and a particular letter. And a particular letter. Maybe the letter's from the sailor. Or a letter from somebody else. But some kind of letter energy, whether it's from the sailor or from somebody else. But we had um, a lot of communication in here earlier. Some you guys expected it, some you didn't. But this, that might be the letter, might be a letter from a sailor, is what I'm thinking for one of you guys. Um, because we're pulling sailor energy and letters. So I'm thinking for some, it might be a letter from a sailor, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates. Because this sailor is very significant to at least one of you guys. All right, you guys. I'm sorry it's so long. I love you guys so much. Namaste.